Welcome to Gloria's Gab Live. I'm so excited. I have my friend Jan Janicia Squeef, uh, the Senior VP of Marketing and Communications for South Florida PBS and our monthly, our, our weekly show sponsor. So uh, you're my hero, as always, because you do so much in the community, but we have a lot to talk about today. We do. So, but you're my hero. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, no, you are. It's great to be here. It's great to so, talk to you again here before. Yeah. And to you know, back our after your my audience. Brief. Yeah, I know. Finally, I my, hate us. I think it's because... my second show. Back Is it? Since, okay. Since my my fall. <laughs> Now the rise, yeah, I'm, I'm, the I'm fall rising. rise yeah, of the glory, rising. Yeah. and <laughs> and what? <clears throat> and I was just like, we we were just talking about the shows that were that have already run in July, mm -hmm. and uh, of course the fireworks on the Fourth of July were awesome. But I always love Ken Burns films, yes. and we have Ben Franklin, and then um, and then America the Bountiful. Not not Ken Burns, but uh, the Great Yellowstone Thaw, awesome programs which I missed. But because I'm a member, what happens? I can live stream them. Well, right? you know or what? You can stream them. I anytime. would like to share with you <laughs> and the audience um, kind of a, an overview of all the programs, like the best programs on South Florida PBS this month. And then I'm going to tell you, if you missed any of them, where you can go to watch them and oh, how okay. you can go and watch them. So why don't we take a look? Okay. The best programs are on South Florida PBS. This July 4th, join me, Alfonso Ribeiro, as I'm back to host America's National Independence Day celebration. It's a Capital Four, only on PBS. Jasper has been taken to prison. Truth and justice are not always compatible. There are moves afoot to cut you loose. We have a liftoff on Apollo 11. Relive what the astronauts experience in this extraordinary recreation using the actual audio recordings. Open landing. Houston, the eagle has landed. Ella has never seen anyone with a body like hers. Join her as she searches to find others who share her experience. We are entertainers first. That's my stage. There were some anger issues. Oh. Watch South Florida PBS this month. Author and book review program that we film locally, yeah. uh, we're having our summer digital series. So basically they're live events on Facebook uh, where the host, Ann Bocock, interviews different regional authors about their books. Uh, usually during the, the rest of the year, it's national best-selling, uh, New York best-selling authors. But during the summer, we regionalize it more and become we have a lot more of, of a local resource locally. for exactly for yep. authors. So, um, but to your point, um, I mean, if you look at the program guide, which you do because you're a member and you receive it, <laughs> There's so many great programs, not just in July. I mean, every single month. Yeah. And if you miss any of it, a lot of our viewers are now able to watch on Passport, which is the okay. PBS app. So Passport offer um, PBS app offers a whole range of programs um, that you would probably be able to watch on air. But if you miss it, you could watch it on the app. But also, there are special programs that you can only watch if you are a member. Right. And then you have the passport, what we call the passport access. Um, and that, as a member benefit, gives you access to a huge library of PBS programs that you can watch at any time from the comfort of your home, on your phone, on your tablet, so on your smart TV. So it, it, it's great because we're getting so many viewers uh, using that platform. Uh, before, you know, PBS was just strictly broadcast. Not anymore. We're everywhere. Everywhere where people access content, watch content, and love, you know, the accessibility. And oh, so yeah. we're there for them. Yeah. So that's something that we've been working on. And it's uh, it's really paying off. Yeah, yeah, it's really paying off. And so why don't we show um, the member promo? So if oh, you're okay, interested yeah. in becoming a member. If you're not a member, this, you've got the best resource in, in South Florida. 
Yeah, uh, you know, without a doubt. Uh, yeah, and so, if you're not a member, you're missing out on a lot yeah, of great stuff. Yeah, and it's it's very uh, doable. And so uh, let me let me just the show you how you can do it. The best programs are on South Florida PBS. For decades, South Florida PBS has been a trusted companion, bringing you educational and cultural experiences that enlighten and engage. Become a member today and join a community committed to uplifting minds and enriching our shared journey. Your membership not only gives you exclusive benefits, it helps ensure we can continue creating exceptional programming for all South Floridians. Become a member today. Just call or text GIVE to the number on your screen or go to our secure website and make today the day you become a part of the South Florida PBS family. So we have summer coming up. Well, summer is here, and you've got a lot going on with Kid Vision. So tell us about that. We do. And, um, <laughs> you know, one of the things that uh, we're very proud of is our community outreach. And I feel like a lot of people still don't know about it, even though we, you and I talk about it all the time. And when I, when I talk about community outreach, I'm talking about events that we put on for the community, mm -hmm. for the South Florida community, whether it be in Broward, Palm Beach, Miami-Dade. Uh, we're always kind of changing, going from one county to the other just mm -hmm. to have give people access. So if you live in Miami-Dade, you can go to our Miami-Dade events or even Broward. Um, or we become part of community events. Uh, so organizations that oh, are already having talking. their events, uh, we become a part of it. We help them promote it. We normally have a presence there. We have PBS characters if it's for kids. Or we may have one, some of our personalities, TV personalities like Dr. Leah. Yeah, she's uh, Or Frank Licari. And so, um, and all these events are free to the public. Because that's our mission, right? Yeah. Um, so what do the events consist of? Well, they're usually centered around our content. So our programs, whether they be local or national, uh, we hold screening events where we, you know, invite the public. It's, again, absolutely free. Uh, we sometimes have some of the fe uh, folks featured in, in the program. Mm -hmm or we have a, a PBS character. And then we develop afterwards conversation around the topic. We normally offer, um, you know, um, food and drinks, and we make it very lively with live entertainment. And it's, you know, uh, like-minded folks coming together around a certain issue, mm -hmm. or just people that are very curious and, and love to learn, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that's right. kind of our motto, right? PBS is for lifelong learners. Right. And so the way that you find out about it is if you follow us on social media, whether it be on WPBT, uh, Facebook, Facebook page or WXCL's Facebook page or on our Instagram page. We have a TikTok page. We also have threads. Uh, we're everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. Oh, it's true. Um, and with the kids events, you know, I love them so much because it's such a great opportunity for us to connect with the families that watch our programs. And a lot of people think, you know, when they think of PBS, they think of children's programs, mm -hmm. right? They um, do. And, and yes, that's a big part of it, and, and we're very proud of that. And we also create our own local content under the Kid Vision brand. And with that, we host different events so that the kids can interact with the content. So it's not just passive learning, it's actually interactive and engaging and what we call immersive learning. So let's take a look at the last one we had, okay. uh, which like I actually that. spoke to Miss Penny about when I interviewed her the last time I was here. Oh, yeah. She, if, that was when you filled in for me. Uh -huh. What of my many angels that filled in for me? <laughs> and we came it came to fruition <clears throat> and we're just so proud of it. So let, let's take a look okay. at the recap. everything that's educational and also cartoons um, so funny. and so funny right and he imitates that and uh, Miss Penny right and uh, Shining Star right the Shining Star yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, yes. We've been watching PBS since they were babies. Um, I love Daniel Tiger and Super Y and all those great educational programs for the kids. So they're still watching cartoons, they're still having a good time, but they're learning at the same time. It's wholesome, it's educational. I didn't have to worry about bad language or inappropriate you know, content. It was just perfect for them. And it was helping them develop at the same time. So you can't get better than that. Sunny is awesome because she's kind, she's cool, she's adventurous, real cool. Hey. Really cool, I mean really cool. You did excellent. You really know Miss Penny. All right, what about you, little girly girl? Miss yeah, Penny's the best. She is the best. Miss Penny. I love her very much and I watch Kid Vision all day. Uh -huh, yay! We love Miss Penny. We go on so many adventures. It's always better when you're with Miss Penny and you don't get rained out. Yay! I love Miss Penny. Yep, yay, Miss yeah. Penny! Yay! I love my family. Mine are very little, so they were held. They were they had to be held. held. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. So my my kids, my sons, took the grandkids there, my grandkids, to the event. But they're little ones, you know. Yes, one is I, two, and the other one is a, a year and a half. So they were being held. Um, but they did the ponies because we offered the pony rides, uh, the petting uh, zoo and um, all the other activities that you saw there. So that was completely free and open to the public. But of course, we always want people to register because we want to know how many people to expect. Um, but it was a huge success. Yeah. Hot, as you can imagine. Yeah. It was so hot. Kids don't care. You know, kids no, are having fun. Outside. They don't care. <clears throat> the adults were like, ah, it's a little hot. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> we're just watching. Yeah, they're, exactly. They're doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, the last thing on, on the their mind is I'll be whether fine. it's hot or cold or anything. But it was yeah. so much fun. And yeah. so the reason we did it there is because Kid Vision has the virtual field trips, and we did one to the Davy Ranch. Oh, I see. And so that became an episode in Kid Vision Mission, which is a series of episodes uh -huh. uh, that we, you know, aired uh, and that we will re-air. Uh, and it's all with Miss Penny, of course, and uh, she's the host, and the kids love her, so they got a treat seeing her, meeting her, some of them for the first time. Taking pictures. And taking yeah. pictures, right, yeah. Right, right. And so as far so. as like what's coming up, because this just happened, uh, we have the Full Steam Ahead series that's coming up. And what's up. that? And so Full Steam Ahead is a series of interstitials videos that we call interstitials because they're about a minute, two minutes long, where we teach kids steam activities so activities that have to do with math that have to do with art with technology with engineering but they only take a minute and a half yeah they're very simple <clears throat> so mm -hmm. it sounds like super complicated but this is for the little ones these are for the four-year-olds the five-year-olds the six-year-olds mm -hmm. and they're led by miss penny uh these activities and we air them we've been airing them on television but we also share them on social media so we have a very robust YouTube page mm -hmm. and under South Florida PBS we uh -huh. have the Kid Vision uh, series and under that we have these uh, videos that we release every week uh, as well as some others that I want to talk mm -hmm. to you about the Kid Vision music time uh, but I think we have one so oh, maybe yeah, let's, see let's it, play let's yeah check it out. so you have an, an idea of what they look Full like steam ahead. Math. let's explore math in the kitchen 
Math is about numbers and operations in our real world and in the kitchen. Today we're going to use math knowledge to make Play-Doh. For this recipe, we need ingredients we have to measure. Measurement is math. We need two cups of plain all-purpose flour, one half cup of salt, two tablespoons of cream of tartar. Now, guess what we do with the dry ingredients? We mix it up with a spoon or we can use our hands. Now we have to move on to the wet ingredients. We need two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one and a half cups of boiling water, and an adult to help us with the boiling water. Mix it all up together, then add some food coloring. We mix it up and we knead the dough. Then it's time to play, hooray! Math is fun, good job. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Those things. Yeah, so those are available on social media, like I said. Division also has a Facebook page that we're posting them on, yeah. and also YouTube. Um, and then we have events coming up, and the events are going to be in Broward and Miami-Dade. So the next one is going to... Oh, and Palm Beach. The next one is going to be in West Palm Beach at 10 a.m., between 10 and noon, and it's going to be at the Rhythm and Hughes in West Palm Beach. I believe it's a Saturday. And so the kids will be able to do the activities with Miss Penny. And then the uh, and that's August 3rd. On August 10th, we have um, basically the same activation at the Miami Kids Magazine back to school event. And that's going to be from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And that's also on a Saturday. And then September. And where is it? But where is it? Uh, that's going to be um, Sunset Drive, oh. uh, 5701 Sunset Drive. Oh, Red, Red and Sunset? Yeah. Oh, that's by the old bakery center, which is yeah. whatever. That's where they do a lot of their events. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then that's September great. 7th, we have the one in uh, Broward, Young at Art, Young in, yeah, Young at Art from 1030 a.m. to 1230 p.m. So we have all of these again, all of these events are free for the whole family. That's great. And kids get a kick out of doing these activities. And it's, they're very entertaining, very yeah. educational yeah. and fun. We have so much fun. We have yeah. as much fun as the kids do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> you do. Because I I would like to learn all that stuff and play. <laughs> I know. And speaking of fun, so you and I were talking about this. Um, let's um, now talk a little bit about the health channel. And, you know, we always want to incorporate health uh, and fun and fitness into what we do at the health channel. That's, that's what we're trying to do. And share that kind of information on every single platform from allhealthtv.com to all health go social media um and then of course on air on the health channel but we also do a lot of community engagement and community outreach and so one of the things that i'm really looking forward to she's going to be in a tournament i'm going to be in a pickleball tournament <laughs> and that's going to be with volunteering uh, miami and so you guys published this and I saw it and I was like, oh, I want to do this. I know. I saw it too. And I go, oh man, that looks like fun. But... So I'll be representing the health channel with my cousin. He's going to be my partner. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to do, I'm going to say his name, Jorge and it's... Morera. <laughs> and he's going to, it's going to be at Palmetto Bay, Bay Park. Park. Right. Uh, and and eventually that's what I want to do. And I even spoke to you about it, or yeah. I think I may have spoken to Grant or, or Michael about doing a pickleball tournament. Oh, yeah. Or a mixer. Because it, it's such a great sport. Everybody does it. Everybody can do it. And it's outdoors and you're active and you're having fun. And so why not? So um, thank you for publishing that and helping okay. this organization disseminate their information. Uh, we love to promote all other nonprofits, especially yeah. when their mission aligns with ours. And, and which you're supporting that. A lot of them do. And the tournament, you're actually, the Health Channel is yeah. um, supporting it? Well, or sponsoring? Um, I, I signed up so, to be oh, part okay. of it, and I will be representing the Health Channel. Oh, I see. But speaking so. of the Health Channel, uh, we have a lot of great programs um, that are currently airing and that we are in the middle of production for. And one of them is your favorite. <laughs> Oh, yes. Let's talk. Sex Dr. talk. Leah. 
So, I love Dr. Leah. We are in the middle <laughs> of a, a new season, producing yeah. a new season of Sex Talk. Uh, and there's so much interest and people love that show. Um, and so why not? Why not keep producing a show that people really um, love and that it resonates with a lot well, of folks? People ask questions they wouldn't ever ask. <laughs> and they get the answers that yeah. they want. <laughs> And so that's that's part of the mission, right? right yeah. Getting those answers. Uh, but there's to really questions. good. There's really good health information in there. Yeah. It's not yeah. just you know. It's not just about sex. No. It's about you know, uh, a lot of different things that um, that affect the body, affect your the body. health, and mm -hmm. of course your mental health because it's all connected. Yeah. And yeah. so speaking of mental health, uh, we also have a program that we launched last month. And it became so popular. Um, we're doing another season. We did it one season. We said, okay, let's see how it works out. And um, we got so many views on YouTube. And of course, uh, on air, people really loved it and wrote in. And we're bringing it back, which is Dr. Q&A. So yeah. between, I believe it's 1230 to 1 every day on the Health Channel's um Facebook page, but also on air, uh, we have a new episode of Dr. Q&A, and mm -hmm. they're all different doctors, right, right. with uh, different uh, specialties, and they answer questions that the audience sends in or asks. Uh, and how do they watching. do that? Via email, text? Yeah, how when it... you go to allhealthtv.com, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, you will see under programs, mm -hmm. the Dr. Q&A, and it'll give you like a, a form that you can submit with your question. Your your name will not be, you know, Aired. said on air it, uh, unless you, you know, don't mind. Uh, and if, if you're watching it on Facebook, then of course, same thing. You can just send it as a message, uh -huh. you know, and a comment, and then your your question will be answered. So we have that, and then we have Ask Hannah, which is part of the program, because if you're not watching it at that precise moment, you don't get to ask your question, right? right. Because it's, it's live on Facebook. Um, but with Ask Hannah, you're able to ask the question, you're, health question and get an answer uh, because that's a, a great service that we provide and it's completely free and you don't have to provide any type of personal information we're not mm -hmm. collecting information it's just we are trying to help the community uh, the south florida community by answering you know questions about health and um and then there's another component of that which is almost like um a symptom checker and so, yeah, it's uh, oh, that's AI. A good one. Uh, yeah, it's driven by AI, and it's basically you put in your symptoms, and it tells you what could be the possible cause. Right. And it gives you a list, and um, gives you, you know, how, you know, the gravity of it from, mm -hmm. you know, least to most or highest. Yeah. Right. And then you can make decisions based on that. Cool. And, and it's great. It's awesome. Of course, you always want to check with your doctor, but it's always helpful, right? When, when you're feeling something to, a lot of people go on, on, you know, Google and, and they Google their, and sometimes you don't get a lot of times, actually, you don't get very accurate information because you don't even know the source. A lot of these sources are um, commercial and questionable <laughs> and they're trying to steer you in a certain direction mm -hmm. so you know be very careful with that um, but we're trying to provide a credible trusted source because it's coming from South Florida PBS and we take our reputation and our credibility very seriously yeah. so we're not going to jeopardize that at but all but the great thing is if you if you ask the questions and you get a possible diagnosis um, you can call your doctor and say I'm just concerned about this could you know, it be this? Yes, I am. So, and instead of just ignoring it and think it's going to go away. Never ignore. Never, never ignore. ignore. Right. Yeah. yeah. You got to act fast. Yeah. Got to be proactive. You got to take care of yourself. Your health is so important and nobody's going to do it except you. Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not going to believe it, but. Time's up? No yeah. way. <laughs> uh, I have enough time to thank South Florida PBS for not only providing me with great energy entertainment and education, but uh, with supporting the show week after week. And, uh, you know, thanks to you, we've been able to have some wonderful people on there doing amazing things in our community. So um, you continue to, um, you know, 
impress and educate and uh, be a resource in so many different ways. So thank you so much. Um, You're welcome. And I, I see us as a team. So let's toast to that yeah, let's, with yeah, our cappuccinos. Go, yeah. <laughs> this is our coffee clutch. <laughs> It should have been here half an hour ago, but, we... but hey, <laughs> anyway, we're so drinking it now. Thank you again so much for coming. And uh, until next week, uh, have a good one. Make a difference. Uh, that's the best thing you can do is make a positive impact on your community and watch South Florida PBS.